Hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, I'm hoping that you have watched grouping symbols video and exponents video before you come to this one. If you haven't, you need to. All right. Now we just got through watching that video. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, that's why I don't do music videos. All right. So uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. This is what I call the law of math. Okay. When you drive down the road, well, not you, when your mom and dad are driving down the road and they see a stop sign, they stop. Yeah, they don't want to get a ticket and they don't want to crash, but they stop because it's the law. Okay, well, this is the law of math. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, and we do it from left to right. Now, the P and please is for parentheses, that C's right here in the middle, but it also works for brackets and braces. Brackets and braces. So the please is for parentheses, which also applies to brackets and braces. Now, hmm, now when you look at this, you see, oh look, hashtag. No, I'm going old school. Before it became a hashtag, it was called a pound sign, which made, uh, which was, says, hey, I'm a number. Okay, and then that's the itty bitty E. That itty bitty E stands for the E in please excuse, which is for exponents, the itty bitty number. All right, and then you see an X here and you see a dot here. Now, this dot is up in the air. Okay, the dot is up in the air, then it means multiply like that X. But if the dot is down, okay, down here, then it's a decimal. But if the dot's up in the air, then it's a multiply. All right, then the D, dear, okay, stands for division, and that's a slash. So that slash is also the same as that division sign. That slash is still the same as that division sign. And I'm sorry, add is just still a plus, and subtract is still a minus, okay? So we have talked about what Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally is, it is the law of math. And we must work it from left to right. The P stands for parentheses, which could also be applied to braces and brackets. The E is that itty bitty E stands for exponents. That hashtag is actually the pound sign, which means, hey, I'm a number. And then the M is my, multiply, D, divide, dear, a, ant, add, and S, Sally, subtract. All right, enough of that. Now we're getting ready to do some work. All right, I've written a problem on the board. It says five times parentheses, three plus eight, close parentheses, or parentheses, five times three, close parentheses, plus eight. Now, which one of these two is going to equal 55? Hmm, I guess we're about to find out. We do the work inside the parentheses first, so three plus eight equals what? Hmm, what does that equal? Well, it should equal three plus eight is 11. 11, and then we go five times. Just bring that down. All right, five times three is 15. 15 plus eight, bring that down. Oh, this one says, hey, let's multiply and says, Five times 11 is 55, and this one says, hey, five plus eight. Hmm, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Hey, yay, that's 23. Hmm, why did I do that? I used my fingers because I want you to see just how easy it is to add and to look how to do the math without keeping it in your head. So 55, so which one works? There it is, winner, winner, all right? Now, where there's one, there's another. Okay, so I'm gonna move the camera over to here, pow! All right, so, yeah, there's a little bit of a shine, but we'll get past it. All right, so that number below the, or above the shine is 42, so we do the work inside. Seven times three is 21, 21 plus three, or three plus three is six, and that turns into seven times six. Hmm, this turns into 24. 
where this turns into 42. Oh, hey, winner. Awesome. Okay, so hopefully now, after these two examples, now these are lower level the examples. I didn't really, you know, try to crush your hopes and dreams yet. Did I have any exponents? No. I was being nice to you. I had a little bit of multiplication. I had some addition. I really didn't have the full plate into the problem yet because I wanted you to see just how easy it is. But I'm going to turn up the heat in part two.